I love that like music. That. Isn't yeah, that great? I, I love that. Like, it just has a great beat. <laughs> Wednesday marks the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month, and for the first time, the Logan City community is celebrating in a big way. That's right. Fox 13's Aaron Cox shows us what they have planned for tomorrow. The busy center street here in historic downtown Logan will be cleared by tomorrow. And instead of cars and customers, you'll see a celebration of customs and culture. I'm from Bolivia. I had to show my tradition too. Carolina Calbimonte moved from Bolivia to Cache County nine years ago. Her first goal was to learn English. Everything was hard. It's still hard. I'm still fighting. The Calbi Monte is not alone. Ernesto Lopez was elected to the Logan City Council a year ago. I'm the first one not only to be Hispanic, but also to be an immigrant. Lopez's family came from Mexico to Idaho, then to Logan, where 16% of the population is Hispanic. Now more than ever, I feel like there are genuine efforts from different agencies, different parts of the government, Utah State University, to really be more inclusive. Much more so than when Selena Willie first came to school in Utah in the 80s. She says only about 2% of Utah's population were Hispanic. Cache County, we're about almost 11% of out of a 130,000 population for the county. So, you know, as we look at the numbers and the, and the trends in the future, this is a, a trend that is here to stay. And a trend to celebrate. The main point of the festival to show everyone flags, the 22 countries that are participating in the Hispanic, you know, culture. Center Street will be blocked off from 6 a.m. to noon tomorrow where they will have Hispanic food trucks, music, dancing, a parade of flags, and so much more. In Logan, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.